Look for this switch on the side of your seat. Slide it forward or backward and the seat will move in that direction. This switch can also be used to adjust the height and angle of the seat. Move the front or rear end of the switch up or down to adjust the angle of the cushion. Then push down or pull up on the middle of the switch to adjust the height. To recline the seat, push this switch backward until you achieve the desired position. To bring the back upright, push the switch forward. The lumbar support feature provides lower back support to the driver. To adjust the manual lumbar support, if so equipped, move this lever up or down. To adjust the power lumbar support, if so equipped, push the front end of this switch to extend the lumbar support or push the back end to retract it. There are multiple ways to fold the second row seat flat for maximum cargo hauling. To fold the seats manually, pull the lever located on the top outboard side of the seat back and fold the seat. If you are in the back of the vehicle with the lift gate raised, push the front of the switch located on the left or right side of the luggage room and the corresponding seat back will fold. To return the second row seats to an upright position manually, push up on the seat back until it latches in place. When returning the seat back to the upright position, always be certain it is completely secured in the latched position. To return the seat back while in the driver's seat or front passenger seat, press and hold the switch located on the center console until the corresponding seat back is fully returned. If your vehicle is equipped with Type A seat and switch, you can raise the seat back from the rear of the vehicle with the lift gate up. Just push and hold the rear side of the switch in the luggage room and the corresponding seat back will return. Please see your owner's manual for important safety information, system limitations, and additional operating information.